Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to show you exactly how I make logos for my Fiverr customers. And I'm going to pick one project that I haven't seen yet and show you everything from A to Z. Without further ado, let's deep dive right into it. So once a customer places an order, I have a special form on Video Ask, which is a platform where I can have videos and ask people questions. And then I receive everything on my Airtable right here. So I have a lot of projects here, as you can see. And today I chose CoinBank. And the reason I chose CoinBank is because I think it looks like a really, really cool project. The name is great. The branding seems great. And I think I'm going to have really, really cool ideas to show you guys on this. So obviously the first step is to go through the brief and understand what the customer wants. It usually takes me between three and four minutes to do this. He wants it branded like a black Amex card, feeling like outer space, strong, reliable, like an investment bank. And then he describes a bit about what he does. Uh, basically, he does AI, uh, crypto, et cetera, et cetera. So what's important is the visual feeling. We want to understand what the vision is, what is the customer's dream, and also what kind of company he's inspired by. BlackRock, Blackstone, Tom Ford, Amex, Blackheart. So I have a feeling that he likes the Palantir logo. So this is what we're going to start uh, basing on. So we're going to take this as inspiration. This is going to be quite exciting. So the first step is obviously to have the name. So we're going to write it out. We're going to find a typography and you really don't want to miss any time on this. So I'm going to go for the typography called Eurostyle. And I know this is a very different from the Palantir that I just said, but it's going to have an even more space like feel. And I think he's really going to like this. So we're going to expand the text and we're going to add some modifications to the letter. And, you know, when it comes to space, having a, you know, very minimal A like this is going to be amazing. As you can see, we here, we have a fantastic word mark there. So see, that was quick, but that was really effective. And this is when the years of experience really come through. Spreading the letters also bring further that space aspect. So now we got to create a special icon. So I have a feeling that we should start with some sort of C here or a shape that is directional. So why did I choose? Why did I make this? Well, we want a coin. We want something round, but we want the C. So we want to make sure it's not just a circle because otherwise it wouldn't be a full C. So th that seems like a good option. Um, I'm going to be uh, I'm going to be just outlining it here, potentially outlining. So see, I like to move really fast when it comes to logos, but see, we, you know, we tried an idea, which is, which is a good first step. You know, I like this, um, you know, maybe we want, maybe we want to take off more of that angle and yeah, we have a good idea here. Like, I, I think I like this. Uh, I think I like this. Maybe we want to modify the shape further. We want to create more of a C. So no, actually this, I think this icon is really, really good. You know, I think this is a very nice icon. Why? Well, it's very like, it could be better. I'm trying to do this in 10 minutes, but I'm sure the customer will love it because that's a very important thing when it comes to logo design is it doesn't really matter that much what you think. It's all about what the customer is going to like. And why do I like this logo? I think it has the C, it has the bank aspect. It's, it feels very reliable. Um, you know, it, it just feels like a great logo. So maybe we could even add in something like this to, no, no, no. Like we want to keep it unique. We want to keep it different. So we're, go we're, we're going to keep it like this. I think, I think it's fantastic. Emphasizing on the space aspect. So by having a black background, this is going to make it much better. I'm going to add in a black texture. So I have something that I really like right here. And this is really going to make it feel space-like. So here you go. This is the first logo. I think it's an amazing logo. And if we really want to go even further, we could add in a very big gradient here, which really makes the quality a, like feel a lot better by simply having a gradient. So, so as you can see here, decrease this. And what we want to do is make the icon pop out. So here you go. So here we have, I think, an amazing logo. I think it looks very good. It looks a bit like Smart, uh, you know, the car company, which isn't too good. So obviously, usually I would do this two or three times. I'm going to make a second concept right now and start again from scratch so you can see my thought process once again. So again, Palantir, this time we're going to go, um, you know, for something very different, uh, not as space-like. So I'm going to use the font sign here, which I really like. We're going to outline this. This font is already very unique, so we don't really need... Um, to make any changes here. And I'm going to try to think and come up with a new concept, um, which is very, very minimal, uh, captures all the emotion we want to capture. Again, as you can see, I'm starting from the same overall shape because it captures all the emotions that I think we want to shape. By having two of these, 
um this this could be potentially a great concept uh i i like it i like it a lot um it, it it's it's a bit familiar with um this crypto company so maybe that's not too good i'm I, like usually i would have to do some due diligence on this and check like what other companies have um you know what other logos have but obviously for this video we don't have the time because i only have 10 minutes um but i think this looks really good um i i, I really like it and as you can see you know just adding some additional details in here um so this concept is slightly more complex it's less minimal like i typically what want to do uh but i think that makes it really really cool um so obviously i don't have time for the details here but uh but yeah i think this is i think this looks really really decent um really really decent that's i think a, a great achievement here um so gonna put all this black like obviously this is very imperfect uh but i like it so we're gonna add in maybe we can put the icon behind here that's gonna be quite good um yeah i think i think that looks decent i think that, that looks very very good i think it's quite unique uh reminds me a bit of a logo on crypto so i'm gonna have to check on this um but but yeah just gonna duplicate the background and i think we are good i'm just actually gonna make it slightly thinner okay as you can see here it's oh yeah, yeah this is perfect this is perfect i love it see how just making it thinner makes it a lot more elegant a lot more premium obviously you know we would need to go into the details of this and make it absolutely perfect uh but i, I love everything about it. it it feels secure it feels like it has the coin um, so yeah, that's that's pretty much it for the logos. This is exactly how I do a Fiverr gig. So then obviously the final step is just to save the file. So I have my Fiverr account here and I will write CoinBank. CoinBank here. So that's it guys, we have the final file right here. And these are the two concepts that I'm gonna be presenting to the customer and I'm really, really happy about them. It took me very little time, but as you can see, it doesn't take that much time to come up with unique ideas and a unique logo. Um, I, the reason I think these logos are so good is they really capture the space feel that we were trying to have. They have a connection to Palantar and you know, the color black is very good if you want anything space related. Um, so keeping it black and white is great. I use very unique fonts, which are very different. So I think the customer here is going to be very, very happy. So then the next step is just to deliver the order and wait for the person to respond. So that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. It was a true pleasure showing you my process and I'll see you in the next video.